fantastic audience. I was sitting in the back hearing you all. Don't you wish someone was around you all day and like whenever you were blue, they were like, give yourself a hand, give yourself a hand you got on the bus with your metro car. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. I'm the one who does that for myself. <laughs> I run around the city giving myself a hand. No. So yeah, it's Friday. We're rocking out at a comedy club. I'm so psyched. Oh. I know, not really. Um, no. I'll be honest, I'm in denial. Yeah. So you I guess you guessed it. I'm single. Yeah. I know, that's where I am on a Friday night. How about anyone else out there single? Yeah. Oh, give yourself a hand! Give yourself a hand! It works. It starts to work, you know? I can't afford Prozac or anything. I don't have health care or whatever I'm attempt, so. But this is great so far. And if I don't remember, you know, or I don't have the energy, I just go to Starbucks. Like, they're always like, hi! You know? Like, oh my God! Anyway, um, it's weird it's accepted or something. Or I was loud enough, and they put a mic in front of me in the stage, and then all you people, give yourself a hand. All right, seriously. Um, yeah, so I'm single, and I'm from New Jersey. Anybody else out there from New Jersey? I think I heard. Okay, yeah, give yourself a hand. I don't even have to tell you now. You've got it. Boom, right there in your back pocket. So. Like a good New Jersey people that we are, we follow directions. We follow the signs. We read the signs, right? Exit, exit, exit. And here you are, and here I am, right? We left. <laughs> so, no, we weren't kicked out or thrown out or they didn't suggest we weave. No. Yeah, we just chose to explore greener pastures or something like that, you know? But it seems like, yeah, everyone in New Jersey kind of leaves or something. When I was going to college or when we were all looking for colleges to go to, people were, were always looking for somewhere really far away, weren't they? Like Vermont, you know, because they want to ski or Florida, you know, for the beach. Nobody was ever going anywhere to study, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless it was like in New Brunswick, right? Douglas or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they said, you know, to study. <laughs> to study like the beer label so they could come back and recite them all backwards, you know, standing on their head and spinning around and doing some fraternity chant. But uh, yeah, no, I never went out with any of those guys. <laughs> More than two days <laughs> in a row. I mean, when I woke up, it was usually the second day or something. I don't know, I don't remember. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter now. I'm all grown up and I'm here in New York and I'm a success. Right? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take that hand. I'll take it. That's my broke back mountain moment, right? Cowgirl. So yeah, I'm single. And I live alone. Going a little cuckoo. But um, yeah, this whole dialogue I have with myself, and um, you're witnessing it <laughs> right now. And uh, quickly thinking, quickly, I gotta get some standards. You know, I don't have time for this. Um, okay, job, apartment, first and last name. And I thought, where can I find a guy like this? Oh, bingo. Where else? Corporate America, right, ladies? How many work in corporate America? Give yourselves a hand, give yourselves a hand, give yourselves a hand. Well, I got myself a temp job, and you know, I, you know, was putting on my best foot forward, my right one, and I would get there, you know, I'd creep in the office at like 7 a.m., you know, make a good impression, and like, you know, also to like use the phone to make a long distance phone call, you know, <laughs> to some foreign guy I probably met the night before in a bar or whatever. But anyway, that was before. And anyway, I'd never failed like I'd be in there like, you know, dialing whatever. And I'd be all like, all of a sudden I'd hear this like, bang! And the elevator light would go off and I'd be like, oh my god, <gasps> I'm caught. And I don't know if any of you have been in the office at 7 a.m., but other than to make a phone call, it's terrifying. This woman appeared and came straight at me. And before I could say a word, I just lifted my head and she was like, Oh my God, hi, good morning, Kathy. <gasps> look at that. It's only 7 a.m. and you're here. And look at me. I've already showered, shaved, moisturized with the New York Times front to back, back to front.
front of my double decaf latte cappuccino, my high fiber, low fat meal, traded some stocks, spoke to my psychic, got my colors done, got married, divorced, remarried. This time for love, got my MBA, my PhD, learned Chinese, Italian, Spanish, French, German, Russian, and look at that. It's only 7 a.m. <laughs> Any messages? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like, you know, fumbling, whatever. And I'm like, I don't know, Anne, like, here's like um, the time management workshop, and here's one from the Betty Ford Clinic. I don't know which came first. Why don't you just take a look? Run along, okay? So this is, you know, the kind of chick, you know, I had to compete with in corporate America. You know, it was either her or the one that was like, you know, the, you know, girls, you know, the girl that's hired definitely because they're like related to the boss or something like that, like his daughter or something boring like that. And um, you girls know who I'm talking about, right? I don't know her name. It might as well be Cindy or Jan or Cindy Jan or Jan <laughs> Cindy, whatever. Or like, bleh, sound, you know, like the rocker. And like, she doesn't like, you think, I'm sure she's a person, but um, she doesn't actually like, I don't know, basically she doesn't bend her knees. She just sort of pushes herself in the direction she's going and sort of has this arrogant authority, like the woman behind the man, you know, like the women behind the men who make it big. Like, like she could have been the woman behind Moses when he was doing the commandments. And she's like, well, there's an 11th one you're forgetting. And um, we need to fax these forms to people who are faxing faxes to. We need a uniform form for faxing. <laughs> you know, but anyway, so and she always has that big wisdom like, girls, if I told you once, I told you a million times. It's not what's here that matters. It's what's here and here and here. Oh. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? And you just want to kill her, but you can't. She's always got the rock the size of like the moon on her finger. And she's always like rubbing it on her big boobs, you know? And shuffling her way into a limo. So you start to wonder. But anyway, just to wrap it up real quick, girls, we don't have a lot of time, do we? We do not have a lot of time. And these men are always fooling us and befooling us and bamboozling us, you guys. Come on, man. It's not fair. Okay? And I can't afford any more great outfits like this, you know? There's only so many episodes of Friends I can watch, you know, to know how to dress. It's not on the air anymore. We need you to be color-coded. We need to know what we're getting, you know, like the grapefruit juice, you know, and the milk, the skim. If you have a little dot right here, like say a red dot, then we know. Red dot coming at us on the forehead, we know. Right, ladies? Red alert, red alert. Married, in town, on convention, cheater. <laughs> if the guy has like a little yellow dot, we know. Cool, laid back, suave, great <laughs> bed. <laughs> broke <laughs> and then like if the combination of the two like the orange dot like the guy's totally gonna screw us over but we won't mind it because he'll be really good at it right like, he's, he's the one who's still sleeping on my couch and the final of the metro card passing through a Taurus just let him pass on through that's my time that's been a great audience give yourselves a hand